Adana, Wikipedia article audio. Adana, Armenian, is a major city in southern Turkey. The city is situated on the Sehan River, 35 kilometers inland from the Mediterranean, in south central Anatolia. It is the administrative seat of the Adana province and has a population of 1.7 million making it the fifth most populated city in Turkey. The Adana Mersin Polycentric Metropolitan Area, with a population of 3 million, stretches over 70 km east-west and 25 km north-south, encompassing the cities of Mersin, Tarsus, and Adana. Adana lies in the heart of Cilicia, a geocultural region locally known as Kukurova. Home to 6 million people, Cilicia is one of the largest population concentrations in Turkey, as well as the most agriculturally productive area, owing to its large stretch of flat, fertile land. The region includes the provinces of Mersin, Adana, Osmaniye and Hatay. Etymology Geography According to numerous sources, the name Adana is derived from the Hittite Uru Adaniya of Kizawatna, while others assert that it is related to the legendary character Danaeus, or to the Danae, a mythological Greek tribe who came from Egypt and established themselves in the Greek city Argos. The earlier Egyptian texts for a country Danaja are inscriptions from Thutmosis II and Amenophis III. After the collapse of the Mycenaean civilization some refugees from the Aegean area went to the coast of Cilicia. The inhabitants Dananium or Danuna are identified as one group of the sea peoples who attacked Egypt in 1191 BC during the reign of Ramesses III. Danayan are identified as inhabitants of the city Adana. It is also possible that the name is connected with the Pi Danuda and Avio, Scythian nomad people, water demons in Rigveda. In Hellenistic times, it was known as Antiochia in Cilicia or Antiochia ad Serum. The editors of the Helsinki Atlas tentatively identify Adana as Kiwi, the Neo Assyrian capital of Kiwi province. The name also appears as COA and may be the place referred to in the Bible, where King Solomon obtained horses. The Armenian name of the city is Adana or Adana. According to an ancient Greco-Roman legend, the name has its origins in Adonis and Ceres, the two sons of Uranus, who came to a place near the Sahan River, where they built Adana. An older legend relates the city's name to Adad, the thunder god in the Akkadian, Sumerian, Babylonian, Assyrian and Hittite mythologies, who was believed to live in the nearby forest, and whose name was given to the region. The Hittites' names and writings have been found in the area, evidencing this possibility. The theory goes that since the thunder god brought so much rain and this rain in turn brought such great abundance in this particular region, this god was loved and respected by its inhabitants and, in his honor, the region was called the Uru Adaniya, in other words the region of Ada. Adana's name has had many different versions over the centuries, Adanos, Ta Adana, Uru Adaniya, Erdn, Eden, Izin, Badana, Adana, Azana, Adain. Adana is located at the northeastern edge of the Mediterranean, where it serves as the gateway to the Kukurova Plain, which has historically been known in the west as the Cilicia Plain. This large stretch of flat, fertile land lies southeast of the Taurus Mountains. Climate from Adana, crossing the Kukurova westwards, the road from Tarsus enters the foothills of the Taurus Mountains, eventually reaching an altitude of nearly 4,000 feet. It goes through the famous Silikian Gates, 
the rocky pass through which armies have coursed since the dawn of history, and continues to the Anatolian plain. The north of the city is surrounded by the Sehan Reservoir. The Sehan Dam, completed in 1956, was constructed for hydroelectric power and to irrigate the lower Kukurova plain. Two irrigation channels in the city flow to the plain, passing through the city centre from east to west. There is another canal for irrigating the Urier plain to the southeast of the city. History The 37th parallel north passes through the city. Adana has a hot summer Mediterranean climate under both the Koppen classification, and a dry hot summer subtropical climate under the True Artha classification. Winters are mild and wet. Summers are long, hot, and dry but also humid at the same time. The highest recorded temperature was on July 8, 1978 with 45.6 degrees Celsius. The lowest recorded temperature was 8.1 degrees C. The history of the Tepaba tumulus in the middle of Adana dates to the Neolithic period, 6000 BC, and the time of the first human settlements. It is considered to be the oldest city of the Kukurova region. A place called Adana is mentioned by name in a Sumerian epic, the Epic of Gilgamesh, but the geography of this work is too imprecise to identify its location. Classical Era According to the Hittite inscription of Kava, found in Hadassa, Kizawatna was the first kingdom that ruled Adana, under the protection of the Hittites by 1335 BC. At that time, the name of the city was Uru Adaniya, and the inhabitants were called Danuna. Beginning with the collapse of the Hittite Empire, C. 1191-1189 BC, invasions from the west caused a number of small kingdoms to take control of the plain, as follows, Qui Assyrians, 9th century BC, Persians, 6th century BC, Alexander the Great in 333 BC, Seleucids, the pirates of Cilicia, Roman statesman Pompey the Great, and the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia. Byzantine Era The history of Adana is intrinsically linked to the history of Tarsus, they often seem to be the same city, moving as the neighbouring Sahan River changed its position. Their respective names also changed over the course of the centuries. Adana was of relatively minor importance during the Roman s influential period, while nearby Tarsus was the metropolis of the area. During the era of Pompey, the city was used as a prison for the pirates of Cilicia. For several centuries thereafter, it was a way station on a Roman military road leading to the east. After the permanent split of the Roman Empire in 395 AD, the area became a part of the Byzantine Empire and was probably developed during the time of Julian the Apostate. With the construction of large bridges, roads, government buildings, irrigation, and plantation, Adana and Cilicia became the most developed and important trade centers of the region. Ayas, and Kozan were the other major urban and administrative centers in the area, especially during the period of the Cilicians. Middle Ages Adana was included in the Roman province of Cilicia Prima, whose capital was Tarsus. It became a Christian bishopric, a suffragan of the metropolitan see of Tarsus, but was raised to the rank of Autocephalus Archdiocese after 680, the year in which its bishop appeared as a simple bishop at the Third Council of Constantinople but before its listing in a 10th-century Notitia Episcopatuum as an archdiocese. Its bishop Paulinus participated in the First Council of Nicaea in 325. 
Piso was among the Arianism-inclined bishops at the Council of Sardica who withdrew and set up their own council at Philippopolis, he later returned to Orthodoxy and signed the Profession of Nicene Faith at a synod in Antioch in 363. Syracus was at the First Council of Constantinople in 381. Anatolius is mentioned in a letter of St. John Chrysostom. Cyrillus was at the Council of Ephesus in 431 and at a synod in Tarsus in 434. Philippus took part in the Council of Chalcedon in 451 and was a signatory of the joint letter of the bishops of Cilicia Prima to Byzantine Emperor Leo I the Thracian in 458 protesting at the murder of Proterius of Alexandria. Ioannes participated in the Third Council of Constantinople in 680. No longer a residential bishopric. Adana is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. Modern Era In the mid-7th century, the city was captured by the Arabs. According to an Arab historian of that era, the name of the city was derived from Azin, the prophet Yazin's grandson. The Byzantines recaptured Adana in 964. After the victory of Alp Arslan at the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, the Great Seljuk Empire overran much of the Byzantine Empire. They had reached and captured Adana sometime before 1071 and continued to hold the place until Tancred, a leader of the First Crusade, captured the city in 1097. In 1132, it was captured by the forces of the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia, under its king, Leo I. It was taken by Byzantine forces in 1137, but the Armenians regained it around 1170. In 1268, there was a terrible earthquake which destroyed much of the city. Adana was rebuilt and remained a part of the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia until 1359, when the city was ceded by Constantine III to the Mamluk Sultan of Egypt in return for obtaining a peace treaty. The Mamluk's capture of the city allowed many Turkish families to settle in it. The Ramadanids family, one of the Oghuz families brought by the Mamluks, ruled Adana until the Ottomans captured the city. From the early modern period to the modern era, the Ottoman Empire ruled the area. In the 1830s, in order to secure Egypt's independence from the Ottomans, the army of Muhammad Ali Pasha, the Vali of Ottoman Egypt and Sudan, invaded Syria on two occasions, and reached the Adana Plain. The soldiers of Muhammad Ali Pasha destroyed Adana Castle and the walls. The subsequent peace treaty secured Egypt's independence, but required the evacuation of all Egyptian forces from Syria, and its return to Ottoman sovereignty. In the aftermath, Adana was established as a province in its own right. The Adana massacre occurred in the Ottoman Vilayet of Adana in April 1909. A religious ethnic clash in the province amid governmental upheaval led to a series of anti Armenian pogroms throughout the region. Despite official denial, which placed the blame squarely on the Armenians and the death count at a mere 1,500, the massacres in the entire province of Adana resulted in the deaths of roughly 25,000 Armenians. The massacre left around 3,500 Armenian children homeless, some being placed in a newly built orphanage, Daralitam. During World War I in 1915, Ottoman troops deported the city's Armenian population to Syria. Chronology after World War I, the Ottoman government surrendered control of the city to French troops, 
and the four battalions of the French Armenian Legion were sent to occupy Adana and oversee the repatriation of Armenian refugees. The French forces were, however, spread too thinly in the region and, as they came under withering attacks by Muslim elements both opposed and loyal to Mustafa Kemal Pasha, eventually reversed their policies in the region. The Armenian Legion was gradually disbanded, the repatriation was halted, and the French ultimately abandoned all pretensions to Cilicia, which they had originally hoped to attach to their mandate over Syria. On October 20, 1921, the Treaty of Ankara was signed between France and the Turkish Grand National Assembly. Based on the terms of the agreement, France recognized the end of the Cilicia War, and French troops together with the remaining Armenian volunteers withdrew from the city on January 5, 1922. Governance on January 30, 1943, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill secretly met with Turkish President Smit Enen inside a train wagon at Yenis Station, 23 kilometers outside of Adana. Churchill wanted Turkey to join the Second World War on the side of the Allies, the details of which were later discussed at the Second Cairo Conference in December 1943 which was attended by N.N., Churchill and Roosevelt. Cordoba, Andalusia, Spain, Skopje, Macedonia, St. Petersburg, Russia, Livorno, Italy. The city was hit by a 6.2 magnitude earthquake on June 27, 1998. The disaster killed 145 and left 1,500 people wounded and many thousand homeless in the city. The total economic loss was estimated at about 1 billion US dollars. Luvi Kingdom, Hittite Empire, Assyrian Empire, Persian Empire, Hellenistic, Seleucid Empire, Pirates of Cilicia, Romans, Armenian Kingdom under the reign of Tigranes the Great Byzantines, Abbasids, Great Seljuk Empire, Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia, Mamluks, Ramadanid Principality, Ottoman Empire, Republic of Turkey. Beersheba, Israel, Shmkent, Kazakhstan, Sapporo, Japan, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. The city of Adana is referred as the area that is within the borders of Adana Metropolitan Municipality. This area covers 30 kilometers around the city hall excluding the areas out of the province. Four levels of government are involved in the administration of the city, national government, provincial administration, metropolitan municipality, and the district municipalities. Government of Turkey in Ankara holds most of the power, health, education, police, and many other city-related services are administered by Ankara through an appointed governor. National government is also the lawmaker, adjudicator, and auditor of all the other levels of government and the neighborhood administration. Semi-democratic provincial governing body, Adana Province Special Administration, has minor powers, dealing mainly with construction and maintenance of primary schools, daycares, and other state buildings and some level of social services. Municipal governance is held in a two-tier structure, metropolitan municipality forms the upper and the district municipalities form the lower tier. Metropolitan municipality takes care of construction and maintenance of major roads and parks, operating local transit and fire services. District municipalities are responsible for neighborhood streets, parks, operating garbage collection and cemetery services. The district municipalities are further divided into neighborhoods, the smallest administrative units of the city. Metropolitan Municipality Districts Neighborhoods 
Economy Ada Na Municipality was incorporated in 1871 though the city continued to be governed by the Mudasip system until 1877 by the first mayor Gaz Luklos Suleiman Effendi. The first modern municipal governance began with the second mayor Kirk Erbazdikian and his successor Sinir Ardine. The roads were widened and paved with cobblestone, drainage canals, and trenches were opened. More importantly the first municipal regulations were put in effect. After the foundation of the Republic, major infrastructure projects were completed and the first planned neighborhoods were built north of the city. Turhan Simul Biriker served as mayor and governor for 12 years during this period. With the completion of Sehan Dam in 1956, the city saw explosive growth when then Prime Minister Adnan Menderes showed special interest in Adana, he initiated large-scale infrastructure projects like citywide underground sewer systems and rezoning of residential areas into roads and public spaces. From 1984 to the present, the cityscape has seen revolutionary changes with the revitalization of Sehan River and the construction of large parks and boulevards. Metropolitan Municipality Law was introduced in 1989 and the municipal governance was split between Metropolitan Municipality and District Municipalities. Adana Municipality then became the Metropolitan Municipality and two new District Municipalities were founded. Sehan and Yurir. Karazal was annexed to the city in 2006, Kukurova and Saram districts were founded in 2008 by the partitioning of Sehan and Yurir districts respectively. On February 3, 2012, Karatas Municipal Council accepted a motion to amalgamate the municipality with Adana. Hence Karatas will become the 6th district of the city after the transition process is completed. Metropolitan Municipality consists of three organs, Metropolitan Council, Mayor, and the Incumen. Each district municipal council elects one-fifth of their members to represent the district at the Metropolitan Council. Thus, Metropolitan Council consists of 35 councillors, 10 from Sehan District, 8 from Yurir, 8 from Kukurova, 6 from Saram, 2 from Karazal and the Metropolitan Mayor who is elected directly by the voters. In Kumen, the Executive Committee, consists of 10 members, 5 being Metropolitan Councillors and the other 5 are the Directors at the Metropolitan Hall who are appointed to the In Kumen by the Metropolitan Mayor. City of Adana consists of the urban areas of the four metropolitan districts, Sehan, Yurir, Kukurova, Saram. Sehan district is fully within the city limits whereas Yurir, Kukurova and Saram districts have rural areas outside the city. Sehan district, located west of Sehan River, is the cultural and business center of the city. D-400 State Road divides the district into north and south. Sehan's north of D-400, is economically the most developed part of the city. Hotels, cultural centers, commercial and public buildings line up along D-400. Old Town, located south of D-400, is the marketplace where traditional and modern shops serve the residents. South of the Old Town is a low-income residential area. Kukurova District, not to be confused with the Kukurova region, is a modern residential district that lies north of the Sehan District and south of the Sehan Reservoir. The district was planned in the mid-1980s to direct the urban sprawl to low-fertile 3,000 hectare land north of the city. Named as New Adana, the project consisted of 200,000 homes including villas along the lake shore and high-rise apartment buildings along the newly opened wide boulevards of Turgut Ozil, 
Suleiman Demiral and Keenan Evren. Yerir District, located east of the river, consists mainly of low-income residential areas and large-scale industries. With the construction of new bridges on the river and the extension of Metro Line to the district, Yerir became increasingly important. Adana Court of Justice relocating to the district and a 47.5 hectare health campus planned to be built in the Kazim Karabakir neighborhood. An extensive urban redevelopment plan is under effect in the district, which will convert the neighborhoods of Sananpasa, Yavuzlar, Kopralu, and Kla into modern residential areas. Commerce District of Saram lies north and east of Yurir consisting of former municipalities that were amalgamated to the city of Adana in 2008. Some of the large institutions of the city are in Saram, Kukurova University, Nsirlik Air Base and the Organized Industrial Region. Neighborhoods are administrative units within the district municipalities and are administered by the Matar and the Neighborhood Seniors Council. Although elected by the neighborhood residents, the Matar is not granted any powers, thus functions as an administrator of the national government. Matar can voice neighborhood issues to the district municipality and do have a seat at the Adana City Assembly, an umbrella organization for the coordination of public institutions in the city. Despite the fact that neighborhood administration cannot provide social services nor have funding to increase the involvement of residents in neighborhood issues, many residents still like to identify themselves strongly with their neighborhoods especially in the low-income areas. There are a total of 254 neighborhoods in the city. Sehan has 99 neighborhoods. 69 of them in the urban area and 30 are the neighborhoods of the former municipalities and the former villages that converted into neighborhoods. Yurir has 99 neighborhoods, 38 in the urban area and 61 rural. There are 29 neighborhoods in Saram, 16 neighborhoods in Kukurova and 11 in Karazal district. A neighborhood population can range from 150 to 63,000. Some neighborhoods, especially in the Kukurova district, are very large almost the size of a town making resident access to Matars difficult. Agriculture Manufacturing Demographics Tepaba, Kailba, Kurakopru, Ulakami, Suryakup, and Allied are the historical neighborhoods of Adana. The planned neighborhoods of the Republican era, Resatbi, Simalpasa, Kurtalas, and Narl are the core of cultural life in the city. Xlil, Karsler, and Kurtip are the scenic neighborhoods overlooking the Sehan Reservoir. Adana is one of the first industrialized cities, as well as one of the economically developed cities of Turkey. A mid-sized trading city until the mid-1800s, the city attracted European traders after the United States, a major cotton supplier, was embroiled with its civil war. Kukurova farmers exported agricultural products for the first time and thus started building capital. By the start of the 20th century, factories almost all processing cotton, began to operate in the region. Factories were shut down and the economy almost came to a standstill in 1915, after the genocide of Armenians who ran most of the businesses in the city. Foundation of the Republic again accelerated the growth of industrialization by reactivation of closed plants and opening of state-owned ones. With the construction of Sehan Dam and improvements in agricultural techniques, there was an explosive growth in agricultural production during the 1950s. Large-scale industries were built along D-400 State Road and Caritas Road. The service industry especially banking, developed during this period. 
Rapid economic growth continued until the mid-1980s and was accompanied by the rise of capitalistic greed which attracted movie makers to the region, filming income inequalities and the abuse of wealth. Extensive neoliberal policies by then Prime Minister Turgut Özil to centralize the country's economy, caused almost all Adana-based companies to move their headquarters to Istanbul. The decline in cotton planting in the region raised the raw material cost for manufacturing, thus the city has seen a wave of plant closures starting from the mid-1990s. Young professionals fled the city, contributing to Adana's status as the top brain drain city of Turkey. Financial and human capital flight from Adana further increased since 2002 with the current National Governing Party. AKP, due to neoliberal centralization policies similar to Ozil's and in addition, hidden policy not to invest in major projects in a city non-aligned with AKP version of conservatism. In 2010, unemployment in the city reached a record high of 19.1%. After 20 years of stagnation, the economy of Adana is picking up recently with investments in the tourism and service industry, wholesale and retail sectors and the city is reshaping as a regional centre. Adana was named among the 25 European regions of the future for 2006-2007 by Foreign Direct Investment magazine. Chosen alongside Kosaeli for Turkey, Adana scored the highest points for cost effectiveness against Kosaeli's points for infrastructure development, while Adana and Kosaeli tied on points for the categories of human resources and quality of life. A leading commercial center in southern Turkey, the city hosts regional headquarters of many corporate and public institutions. Tuyap Exhibition and Congress Center hosts fairs, business conferences, and currently it is the main meeting point for businesses in Kukurova. Academic-oriented 2000-seater Alper Aknola Congress Center is expected to open in 2012 at Kukurova University campus. Cityscape Adana Chamber of Commerce was founded in 1894 to guide and regulate the cotton trade and it is one of the oldest of its kind in Turkey. Today the chamber has more than 25,000 member companies, furthers the interests of businesses and advocates on their behalf. Adana Commodity Exchange, founded in 1913 functions mainly to organize the trade of agricultural produce and livestock in a secure and open manner. The exchange is located across the Metropolitan Theatre Hall. Designation of coastal areas of Sehan and Yamur Tok districts as energy-specific industrial areas has made Adana an attraction for hotel building. Current capacity of 29 hotels hosting 4,200 guests will double in two years, total number of hotel beds rising to 8,400. Current five-star hotels of the city, Hilton, Sehan and Sermili will be complemented by Sheridan and Turkmen hotels on the river bank, Ramada and Divan hotels in the city centre. An Emin Hotel at the West End which are all currently under construction. Adana is the marketing and distribution centre for Kukurova Agricultural Region, where cotton, wheat, corn, soybean, barley, grapes, and citrus fruits are produced in great quantities. Farmers of Adana produce half of the corn and soybean in Turkey. 34% of Turkey's peanuts and 29% of Turkey's oranges are harvested in Adana. Most of the farming and agricultural-based companies of the region have their offices in Adana. Producer cooperatives play a significant role in the economy of the city. Kukoberlik, Turkey's largest producer cooperative 
has 36,064 producer members in 10 provinces and services from planting to marketing of cotton, peanut, soybean, sunflower, and canola. Adana Agriculture Fair is the region's largest fair attracting more than 100,000 visitors from 20 nations. The fair hosts agriculture, livestock, poultry, and dairy businesses. Greenhouse and Gardening Fair also takes place at the same time in part of the Agriculture Fair. The fair is organized on a 3.5 hectare area at Tuyap Exhibition Center every year in October. Adana is an industrialized city where large-scale industry is based mostly on agriculture. Food processing and fabricated metal products are the major industries constituting 27% of Adana's manufacturing, furniture, and rubber-slash-plastic product manufacturing plants are also numerous. As of 2008, Adana has 11 companies in Turkey's top 500 industrial firms. The largest company in Adana, Temsi Global, an automotive manufacturer, has more than 2,500 employees and manufactures 4,000 buses annually. Marsan Adana is the largest margarine and plant oil factory in Turkey. Advanza Sasa is Europe's largest polyester manufacturer employing 2,650. Organized industrial region of Adana has an area of 1,225 hectare with 300 plants, mostly medium scale. As of December 2017, the total population of the four districts is 1,753,337. The population of the four districts of Adana since 2008 are Two-thirds of the residents of Adana live west of the Sehan River, where the city was first founded. Urban sprawl east of the river is limited due to large institutions such as Kakurova University and Inserlik Air Base. Sehan is the most diverse district, accommodating all ethnic groups. The major ethnic groups in Adana are the Turks, followed by Arabs and Kurds. Population growth slowed between 1885 and 1927 because of the Adana massacre and the Armenian deportations, with the numbers only being replenished, rather than increased, by refugees brought in from the Balkans as part of the population exchange of 1923. The first Turks moved to the city from Central Asia around the 11th century. In the early 14th century, several Turkmen tribes were settled after Mamluks took control of Kukurova. An Ottoman tax register from 1526 records 16 Turkish residential areas, but only one Armenian and none that were Greek, Jewish, Kurd or Arab. During the 17th century more Armenians and Greeks settled in the city, according to Evlia Celebi there was also an Arab population. Arabs are concentrated in Karyaka quarter of Yerir. New generations of Arabs do not speak Arabic as they are mostly assimilated into Turkish culture. The demography of the city changed significantly in the 1990s after the massive migration of Kurds, many of them being forced to leave their villages in the southeast at the peak of Turkey-PKK conflict. Kurds mostly live in southern neighborhoods of the city. Konos, a tribe of Romani people of Romania, settled in Adana during the Balkan Wars. Konos mainly live around Sinanpasa neighborhood. Around 8,000 Romani people live in Adana province, including Konos. There is a sizable community of migrants from the Balkans and Caucasia, who also settled in Adana during the Balkan Wars and before. Architecture Parks and Gardens 
An estimated 2,000 families of crypto Armenians live in Adana, identifying themselves as Arabs, Kurds, or Alevis for the last century. In addition, there are a large number of descendants of the Armenian children given to Muslim families to be fostered in 1915, either by their Armenian parents or by Ottoman officials. Armenians and Greeks constituted half of the population of Adana before 1915. Adana is home to a community of around 2,000 British and Americans serving at the Inserlik NATO Air Base. Before 2003, the community numbered up to 22,000, but declined when many troops were stationed in Iraq. Society and Culture Similar to other cities on the Mediterranean and Aegean coasts, secularism is strong in Adana. Among the people with faith, the majority of the residents adhere to Sunni Islam. The majority of Turks, most of the Kurds and some of the Arabs are Sunni Muslim. Adana is also a stronghold of Alevism, many Alevis having moved to the city from Karamanmaras after the incidents in 1978. Arabs of Adana are mostly Alai, which is often confused with Alevis. Alai Arabs are locally known as Nasari or Fela. Arabs from Anlurfa province are Sunni Muslims. There is a tiny community of Roman Catholics and a few Jewish families. Cuisine Arts and Entertainment Performing Arts Museums and Art Galleries Festivals Nightlife Sports Contemporary Life Media Shopping Education Universities Healthcare Transportation The golden age for the architecture of Adana was the late 15th and 16th centuries when Ramadanid Principality chose Adana as their capital. The city grew rapidly during that period with many new neighborhoods being built. Most of the historical landmarks of Adana were built during this period, thus Mamluk and Seljukid architecture are dominant in Adana's architectural history. Taskopru is the only remaining landmark from the Roman Byzantine era, and few public buildings were built during Ottoman rule. Adana is home to modern Turkey's historic Armenian architecture, which can be found behind the city's central modern buildings. The first traces of settlement in the quarter of Tepeba, can be traced to the Neolithic Age. The quarter is next to the Taskopru Stone Bridge, situated on a hill which gave its name Tepeba. The city administration has launched a campaign to preserve the heritage of this area, particularly the Ottoman houses. A Tatark stayed in one of these houses on Sehan Kadasi which now houses the Atatürk Museum. Several bridges cross the Sehan River within the city, the most notable among them is the Taskopru, a 2nd century Roman bridge. Currently used by pedestrians and cyclists, it was the oldest bridge in the world to be open to motorized vehicles until 2007. Demirkopru is a railway bridge that was built in 1912 as part of the Berlin-Baghdad railway project. Regulator Bridge, at the southern section of the city, is a road bridge as well as a regulator for the river water. There are also three foot bridges, Sehan and Mustafaq Mulpasa road bridges, the bridge of the metro and the bridge of the motorway spanning the river. Bayoksat built by the local governor of Adana in 1882, is the tallest clock tower in Turkey rising 32 m high. It was damaged during French occupation, but was rebuilt in 1935, and its image can be found in the city's coat of arms. Kazankler Ars, founded around the Bayoksat.
Ramazanala Hall was built in 1495 during the reign of Halal Bay. A three-story building, made of stone and brick, it is one of the oldest examples of a house in Turkey. This hall is the harem section, where the Ramadanid family lived. Salam K section, where the government offices were, no longer exists. Our hammam was built in 1529 by Ramazanala Piri Pasha and it is the largest hammam in Adana. It is built with five domes and the inside is covered with marble. During the time it was built, water was brought from Sehan River by water wheels and canals. Ermak Hammam, located next to Sehan District Hall, was built in 1494 by Ramazanalo Halal Bay on the ruins of an ancient Roman bath. Its water comes from the river. Other historical hammams in the city are Mestanzade Bath and Yeni Bath. Mosques Sabon Merkez Kamii, though not being historical, is the most visited mosque in Adana, as it is one of the largest mosques in the Middle East. Built in loyalty to Ottoman architecture, the mosque was opened in 1998 to a capacity of 28,500 prayers. The mosque has six minarets, four of them being 99 meters high. Its dome has a diameter of 32 meters and is 54 meters above the praying area. It is located on the west bank of Sehan River at the corner of Sehan Bridge and can be seen from a wide area. Ulu Kami, a kulai built in 1541 during Ramadanid era, is the most interesting medieval structure of Adana with its mosque, madrasa, and turb. The mosque is of black and white marble with decorative window surrounds and it is famous for the 16th century Iznik tiling used in its inner space. The minaret is unique with the mamluk effects it bears and with its orthogonal plan scheme. Yakamii was originally built as the church of St. James, then converted into a mosque by Ramazanalo Halal Bay in 1501. His successor Piri Mehmet Pasa added its minaret in 1525 and its madrasa in 1558. It is in the Seljukid Grand Mosque style and has an attractive gate made of yellow stone. Yeni Kamii was built in 1724 by Abdul Rezik Antaki, and is still known as Antaki Mosque by some. The influence of Mamluk architecture is visible. It is built in rectangular order and has an interesting stonework on its south walls. Alamdur Mesidai, Se Zulfi Mesidai, Kays Loda Ramazanalo Mosque Hassan Aga Kamii are some other mosques having historical value. Churches In the 19th century, the city had four churches, two Armenian, one Greek, and one Catholic. St. Paul Church is a Roman Catholic church that was built in 1870. It is located in the Old Town close to 5, Akok Square and currently serves the Roman Catholic and the Protestant communities. Greek Church was built in 1845 in the Kurakopru area and was converted into a museum in 1950. The church was restored to its original state and purpose in 2015 and is renamed Kurakopru Monumental Church. Armenian Church on Ali Munaf Street at midpoint between Yakamii to Bayuksat, was converted into a Zirate Bank branch during the Republican era. Also during the same period, the larger Armenian church on the Abidinpasa Street was demolished by the government and the Central Bank Regional Headquarters was built in its stead. Adana has many parks and gardens. Owing to the warm climate, parks and gardens are open all year long without the need of winter maintenance. 
recreational pathways on both banks of Sehan River cross the entire city from south end to Sehan Reservoir. Pathway then connects to Adnan Menderes Boulevard which follows the southern shores of Sehan Reservoir, and the wide sidewalks of the boulevard extend the pathway to the west end of the reservoir. Dilberler Sekasi is the most scenic part of the pathway which is along the west bank, in between the old and the new dam. Recreational pathway along the north side of the Grand Canal goes from east end to west end of the city, crossing Sehan River from Old Dam's pathway. Some sections of this pathway have not yet been completed. Once completed, within the city there will be almost 30 kilometers of continuous recreational pathway connecting several parks. Merkez Park is a 33-hectare urban park that is located on both banks of Sehan River, just north of Sabon Mosque. With a 2100-seater amphitheater, a Chinese garden, and two cafes, it is the main recreational area of the city. In the park, there is a rowing club which serves recreational rowers. Suleiman Demiral Arboretum is a large botanical garden containing living collections of woody plants intended partly for the scientific study of Kukurova University researchers. The Arboretum is also used for educational and recreational purposes by city residents. 512 species of plants exist in the Arboretum. Atatürk Park is a 4.7-hectare city park built during the first years of the Republic. It is centrally located in the commercial district. The park holds a statue of Atatürk and hosts public ceremonies. Kobandid Park is a 16.5-hectare park at the west shore of Sehan Reservoir. It is situated on a hill overlooking the reservoir. The park has the tomb of Kobandid, a wise man from Karslo village. Yasar Kemal Woods is a hiking area on the east bank of Sehan River across Dilberler Sekasi. It is dedicated to Kukurova native writer Yasar Kemal. Catalan Woods is a large recreational area between Catalan and Sehan reservoirs, north of the city, in the Carazal district. One of the major elements that define the society of Adana is the agriculture-based living and its extension, agriculture-based industrial culture. However, Developments in industrial life, improvements in transportation, effects of communication and massive migrations have affected the unique culture of Adana. Similar to other cities in Turkey, the culture in some sections in the city are very distinct from each other. Adana cuisine is influenced mainly from Yoruk, Arabic and Armenian cuisine and the city has kept up its traditions. Spicy, sour, and fatty dishes made of meat and bulgur are common. Bulgur and flour are found in all Kukurova kitchens. In almost every home, red pepper, spices, tahini, a chopping block and pastry board can be found. The bulgur used in cooking is specific to Adana, made from dark-colored hard wheat species with a preferred flavor. Adana kebab, called kebab locally, is a kebab made from minced meat. Since it can be found at all kebab restaurants in Turkey and at most Turkish restaurants around the world, the Adana name still suggests kebab to many people. Adana kebab is the most popular dining choice in Adana, although foods from other cultures are becoming increasingly popular. Besides many kebab restaurants, there are also many kebab serving vendors in the older streets of Adana. Adana kebab is usually served with onion salad, green salad, or with well chopped tomato salad. Rack and salgam usually accompany it as drinks. There are many varieties of salads typical to the city. Radish salad with tahini is popular and it is found only in the Kukurova region. 
Salgam and pickle juice are the drinks of the winter and aslama is the choice of drink in summer. One of the famous sweets of Turkey called sweet sausage originated from Adana. It was invented by Sir Duran O during the First World War, around 1915 Sekar Sukyugu. Vegetable dishes are also popular in the city. Besides tomato paste, pepper paste is used in almost every dish. The city is also famous for its written a kind of homemade sausage stuffed with rice, and eaten with cumin, paca, boiled sheep's feet, BCBC made from jellied starch, rose water and sugar is served with crushed ice and consumed especially in summertime. Furthermore, the city has a number of famous desserts, such as halka tatl, a round-shaped dessert, and tas kadaf, a bow-shaped dessert. Several types of fruit, including the apricot, are native to this area. Kukurova State Symphony Orchestra performed its first concert in 1992 and since then, the orchestra performs twice weekly from October to May at the Metropolitan Theatre Hall. The orchestra consists of 39 musicians and conducts regular tours in Turkey and abroad. Adana State Theatre opened its stage in 1981 at the Saban Cultural Centre. It performs regularly from October to May. Adana Town Theatre was founded in 1880 by Governor Zia Pasa to be the first theatre in Adana. In 1926, the theatre moved to the newly built community centre. Town Theatre currently performs weekly at the Metropolitan Theatre Hall and the Ramazanala Centre. Sehan Town Theatre and Sehan Folkloric Dances are weekly events at the Theatre Hall of Sehan Cultural Centre. Amphitheatres in Adana host performances from April to November. Mimar Sinan Amphitheatre, the largest in Adana, can accommodate 8,000 guests and hosts concerts and movies. It is located at the west bank of the Sehan River. 2,100-seater Merkez Park Amphitheatre, 3,000-seater Kukurova University Amphitheatre and Dole Park Amphitheatre in Kukurova District also host theatres, concerts, and cinemas. Recently, historic buildings have been restored and converted into cultural centres. The 5 15-year-old Ramazanala Hall and 130-year-old former high school for girls serve as cultural centers hosting art exhibitions and cultural events. Adana Archaeological Museum was opened in 1924 as one of the oldest ten museums in Turkey. It moved to its current location at the west corner of Sehan Bridge in 1972. The museum exhibits archaeological works from all over Kukurova. Notable works are the two Augustus statues from Hittites, Achilles sarcophagus depicting Trojan War and statues from Magarsis and Augusta ancient cities. Adana Ethnography Museum was opened in 1983 after Archaeological Museum moved to its new location. In the front and backyard there are epitaphs and gravestones of Adana's leading figures of the 17th century. In the west yard, there are inscriptions of Taskopru, Mrs. Bridge, Old City Hall and Baripasa Fountain. Inside, there are clothing, jewellery and weaponry of Yoruk villagemen. A Tatark museum exhibits War of Independence and First Years of Republic at the mansion where a Tatark stayed during his trips to Adana. Mrs. Mosaic Museum, located on the city's far east end at the west bank of Sehan River, exhibits mosaics that were on the floor of a 4th century temple in the ancient city of Mrs. The mosaic depicts Noah and 23 birds and poultry that he took onto the ark during the flood. The museum also exhibits the works that were excavated from Mrs. Tumulus. Karekatalan Museum of Literature, 
Adana Museum of Cinema, Yezaloba Martyrs Museum, Mehmet Baltak Museum of Photography and Adana Urban Museum are other noteworthy museums in the city, many of them located in restored historical buildings. State Fine Arts Gallery was opened in Saban Cultural Center in 1982. It carries 59 plastic pieces of art. 75.YL Art Gallery in Atatürk Park, Adana City Hall Art Gallery and Art Gallery in Sehan Cultural Center are the other public art galleries. Altun Koza International Film Festival is one of the top film festivals in Turkey, taking place since 1969. During the Altun Koza of 2009, 212 international films were shown in 11 movie theaters across the city. Long Film Contest, International Student Film Contest and Mediterranean Cultures Film Contest are held during the festival. International Saban Theatre Festival is held every year in April since 1999. At the festival in 2011, 461 artists from 17 ensembles performed plays on the stage at the Saban Cultural Center. The festival's opening show was staged on the Sehan River and Tasco Pru by Italian ensemble Studio Festi. Water Symphony show was greeted by thousands of people with great enthusiasm. Orange Blossom Carnival is held every April, inspired by the scent coming from the city's orange tree-lined streets. The Carnival Parade of 2015 attracted more than 90,000 people the highest attendance ever in an outdoor event in Adana. Organized concerts and shows in the city's squares, parks, and streets are accompanied by spontaneous street celebrations. International Kukurova Instrumental Music Festival is a two-week-long festival held annually in Adana, Antakya, and Gaziantep. In 2009, the festival took place for the fifth time with an opening concert from Kukurova State Symphony Orchestra. Baritone Marcin Bronikowski, pianist Vania Bachvereva, guitarist Peter Finger, Cellist Ozan Tunka and pianist Zarap Ajaltsad were some of the musicians who performed at the festival. Kukurova Art Days is a regional festival that takes place yearly since 2007. In 2012, the festival took place on 22-26 March in Adana, Mersin, Tarsus, Antakya, Skenderun, Salifka. Anamur and Aleppo. There were 94 events including concerts, poetry, exhibitions, talks, and conferences. 13 Care Arts Festival began in 1999 as a festival of photography dedicated to 13 photographers of Adana who died in an accident during an AFAD trip. The festival then expanded to include other arts. During the festival, exhibitions of nature, undersea and architecture photography, puppet shows, shadow theatre and several concerts are held. The festival takes place every December. Adana Literature Festival is held every April at Adana Centre for Arts and Culture. Around 100 writers, poets and critics participate in the festival and give talks make up panels and make presentations. The city was well known for its vibrant nightlife and many pavians from the 1950s to the 1980s. Although some were family entertainment places, pavians mostly functioned as adult entertainment clubs, similar to hostess clubs of Japan, with live music, usually two-story a stage and a lounge with tables lined up at the main floor and private rooms at the upper floor. The first pavians opened in the city by 1942 with the arrival of English workers who worked on the Adana Ulukla Road that was funded by the British government to persuade Turkey to form a front in World War II. 
As Kukuro Va cotton was valued by the early 1950s, the surplus took landowners to the Pavians which opened more and more along the Sehan River. In the 1960s, rapid industrialization brought more men to Pavians not only from the city, but from a wide region including Istanbul and Ankara, thus Adana was named Pavian capital of Turkey. Many popular singers took the stage at and owe their fame to the Pavians of Adana. Pavians led the way to Western-style pubs and nightclubs by the late 1980s with the socio-economic changes in Adana. The traditional entertainment district is Sular, near Central Station, but the pubs and clubs nowadays are spread throughout the city. The bigger clubs such as Life Legend, Uptown, Kasara and Lava host world star singers at their elegant locations, mostly along the river and the lake. There are still two active Pavians, Aphrodite and Maxim, but adult entertainment is directed mostly to what is known locally as telebars. Telebars are licensed as regular pubs, but function as places where bar girls entertain customers and usually hook with them afterwards. There are around 20 telebars mainly in the city center and around the old dam. A hundred-year-long tradition of kebab, liver, and rack in the Kazankler Bazaar, with street music and dances, turned into a festival since 2010, with all-night entertainment. World Rack Festival, held the second Saturday night of December, attracts more than 20,000 people to the old town. Football is the most popular sport in Adana, basketball, volleyball and handball are also played widely at professional and amateur levels. Warm weather make the city a haven for sports like rowing, sailing, swimming and water polo. Horse racing and horse riding are also popular. Biannual Men's European Wheelchair Basketball Championship took place in Adana on 5-15 October 2009. Twelve countries competed at the event and Italy won the title after a final game against Turkey. Adana also hosted the 2013 IWBF Men's U23 Wheelchair Basketball World Championship. 1967 Women's European Volleyball Championship was organized in Turkey and Adana was a host city together with Istanbul, Ankara and Zemir. Group C games are played in Adana at the Menderes Sports Hall. Adana Spear and Adana Demirspor are the two clubs of Adana that appear in Turkish Professional Football League. After 12 years, Adana Spear returned to Super League, in which they had competed for 21 years and were the runner-up in 1980-81 season. Adan Aspir also performed at the UEFA Cup for three years. Adan Ademir Spor, currently performing at the TFF First League, was the runner-up at the Turkish Cup in 1977-1978 season and performed at the Superlig for 17 years. Both teams share five Akak Stadium as their venue, and the matches between them are known as the Adan Derby an arch-rival atmosphere that is found in only three cities in Turkey. In women's football, Adana Menyer Duspur competes in the first football league, and plays their home games at the Gen Klik Stadium. Bodas SK and the Adana Ask are the major clubs in women's pro basketball both performing in the Turkish Women's Basketball League. Bodas was the runner-up at the Ronchetti Cup in 2001 season and played in the Euro Cup semi-final in 2011-12. The team won the TKBL title in 2001 and 2002-03 and the Turkish Cup title in 2001-02 and 2002-03. The venue for Bodas is Menderes Sports Hall. Adana Ask was founded in Sehan in 2000, 
under the name Sehan Baladi Esper and renamed and moved to Adana in 2014. After the move, the club performed the best season ever, playing in the final at the Turkish Women's Cup and semi-final at the TKBL First Division. Adana Ask also play their home games at Menderes Sports Hall. Adana Spear, relegated to the third tier of the Turkish Men's Basketball League in 2016, playing their home games at the Menderes Sports Hall. Wheelchair Basketball Clubs, Adana Engel Lyler and Mart Engel Lyler appear in the first division of the Turkish Wheelchair Basketball League both playing their home games at the Serenifler Sports Hall. Professional Volleyball Club Adana Toros was promoted to the top flight of the Turkish Men's Volleyball League on April 12, 2016 at the playoff finals in Bursa. Adana Toros play their home games at the Menderes Sports Hall. The city's handball club, Sakir Pazahem, promoted to the Turkish Women's Handball Super League on April 21, 2016, at the playoff finals in Ankara. The venue of Sakirpaza is Yuri or Serenifler Arena. Water sports have been recreationally and competitively the traditional sports of Adana. Water polo team of Adana Demirspor is a legend in the community joining the Turkish Water Polo League in 1942 after the first modern water sport venue of Turkey, a Tatürk swimming complex, opened in Adana in 1936. The team has a record 22 years of straight championship title in Turkish Men's Water Polo League, 17 years of it without losing a game and thus their given name Unbeatables. Demirspor has a total of 29 championship titles. Rowing became a popular sport in Adana in the last 20 years. Rowing competitions are held all year long on Sehan River and Sehan Reservoir. Metropolitan Rowing Club and Kukurova University SK compete at national and international level. Sailing competitions are also held at Sehan Reservoir all year long. Adana Sailing Club performs at sailing competitions in different categories. In swimming, Erdal Asit of Adana Demirspor is a prominent figure in Adana, who broke the record of swimming Canal La Manche in 9 hours and 2 minutes in 1976. Recreationally, the lack of swimming pools made Sehan River and the irrigation canals attractive for swimmers who want to cool off from the hot and humid summers. Due to almost 100 people suffocating every year, the Metropolitan Municipality built and opened 41 swimming pools over the last 15 years. Adana Half Marathon was inaugurated in 2011 on a national level with the participation of 223 athletes. In 2012, the marathon gained IAAF International Marathon status and hosted 610 athletes from 10 nations. The marathon takes place on the first Sunday following January 5, Adana's Independence Day. Master men, master women, and wheelchair competitions, as well as four kilometers public run are held during the event. The racecourse follows the historic streets of Adana and the streets along the Sehan River. Adana is one of the cities of Turkey where horse racing is highly popular. Yezaloba Hippodrome is traditionally one of the four racecourses of Turkey hosting horse racing competitions from October to May. Adana Equestrian Club is the largest center of horse riding in Turkey, hosting national and international competitions. Media in Adana runs by national and local agencies. Kukurova Journalists Union is the umbrella organization for the local media in the region. There are several newspapers published daily in Adana, the most popular ones being the Yeni Adana, Express, Toros, 
Balch, and five Akak papers. Yeni Adana is the oldest newspaper and dates back to 1918. The newspaper played a significant role in the independence movement after the First World War. Most newspapers in Adana serve not only the city but the Kukurova region. Many national newspapers have their regional publishing centers in Adana. Hurriyet publishes a supplement paper, Hurriyet Kukurova, the most popular regional newspaper, that has circulation of 48,000. Sabah's regional supplement paper, Guni, is also published in Adana. Intercity transport Local transport Cycling and walkability International relations Canal A is the longest-serving TV broadcaster in Adana, Kukurova TV, Oknas TV, Koza TV, and Kent TV are the other major broadcasters. There are numerous local radio channels and TRTS Kukurova radio can be listened to in the city. Kakmak Street is the traditional shopping street that is located in the old town. Several attempts by the city to designate it as a pedestrianist street was unsuccessful because traffic flow could not be diverted to another street. There are several historical bazaars around Bihuksat and Yakamiai. Covered markets around Sedam Street, Keeleys, and MSR bazaars were once a haven for shopping for quality foreign goods. Ziapasa Boulevard is the street of elegance where expensive brands are located. The street runs from D400 State Road to the Central Train Station and the shops are concentrated towards the north end. The streets around Ziapasa and the streets of northern Adana, Ozil, Demiral and Evren Boulevards also have high-end shops. There are four modern shopping malls in the city. Galleria was the first to be built in the early 1990s but did not become popular due to administrative issues. M1 and Carrefour malls were built during the late 1990s at the west end of the city. Recently opened Optimum Outlet is the first mall east of the river and is also the closest to the city centre. The mall has a view of the river and the Merkez Park. Public, private, and not-for-profit foundation institutions are located in Adana. Primary and secondary education in the city is regulated by the Provincial Directorate of the National Ministry of Education which also administers the state schools. There are 282 public and 12 private primary schools which pupils attend from grades 1 to 8. From grades 9 to 11, Pupils go to one of the 85 public and 26 private high schools. Notable high schools of the city that require an examination to enter are the state-owned Adana Fen, Adana Anadolu, and the private Ndodu and Bilfen. Adana Gundogda Schools is the largest private school in Adana and is increasing in size every year. There are six public and six private schools for pupils with special needs. Nine community training centers support adult residents to improve their skills. Ramazanalo Library was founded in 1923 by combining two smaller libraries. The library moved to its current location in the Saban Cultural Center in 1976 and renamed as Adana Public Library. The library also has a branch in the Karaykalan Museum of Literature. Sehan, Yirir, Saram, and Karazal also have district public libraries administered by each district. Adana City Library is specific on publications about Adana and Kukurova's history, culture, and has a good collection of photography and films about the city. City Library is located in the Adana Center for Arts and Culture. 
Kukurova Book Fair took place for the fifth time in 2012, hosting 182,450 visitors from Kukurova and neighboring regions. 205 publishers and volunteer organizations had stands, more than 50 cultural events were performed and 300 authors were present to meet the readers. At the same time, Kukurova Education Fair was organized at the Tuyap Exhibition Center with the participation of 45 education institutions. The city has large ethnic communities and education conducted in unofficial languages is only at institutions that do not get government support. Few of these institutions teach Arabic and Kurdish in Adana. The requirement for taking admission tests to high schools, universities, and to a career in national public services led to the opening of more than 100 cram schools in the city since 1984 which added extra schooling and financial burden to residents. There are two state universities and one foundation university in the city, and there is a second foundation university just outside the city. Universities are regulated by the Council of Higher Education. Kukurova University is a state university located at the east shores of Sehan Reservoir. In 2008, with three faculties, it is placed among the top 500 universities of the world according to research conducted by Blackwell Publishing, Quacarelli Simons, and The Times. The university was founded in 1973, with the Union of the Colleges of Agriculture and Medicine. Its campus has many cultural, social, and athletic facilities for its 40,000 students. Adana University for Science and Technology is a recently opened state university that has nine faculties, two institutions, and a college. A university is a not-for-profit tuition-based university founded in 1997. The university is 20 kilometers away from the city center at approximately midway to Tarsus. Most of its 2,500 students commute from Adana, Tarsus, and Mersin. Kanuni University is a recently opened tuition-based university founded by the Kukurova Education and Culture Foundation. Adana is a major health center to a wide region from Mediterranean to southeastern Anatolia. There are four university hospitals, eight state hospitals and seven private hospitals in the city. Ostan LA area in the Sehan district is home to hospitals lined up on both sides of the H. Omer Saban Street. Numun General Hospital, Kukurova State Hospital, Hospital for Thoracic Diseases, Military Hospital, and Medical Centers are healthcare facilities in this area. Balkal Hospital of the Kukurova University is a research hospital that was founded in 1987 after the Faculty of Medicine moved to the main campus. The hospital has 1,050 inpatient beds and 47 service units, a 58-bed intensive care unit and 17-bed emergency unit. It is the largest hospital in southern and southeastern Anatolia and one of the major hospitals of Turkey. A new health campus is expected to open in Yerir by 2014, which will include a 600-bed general hospital, 200-bed heart and stroke hospital, 250-bed maternity hospital, 100-bed oncology hospital, 150-bed physiotherapy and rehabilitation center, 100-bed psychiatry hospital. The campus will have a capacity of 1,400 inpatients in total and will be connected to Austin LA area of the Sehan district through a bridge over the Sehan River which will create one big campus. Adana is on the major route that connects Europe to the Middle East. In the 16th century, Adana was a port city where ships could navigate on Sehan River to the port just south of Taskopru. 
Sakirpaza Airport lies just west of the old town. Together with the central bus terminal and the central train station, the three are the main locations for intercity transportation. Sakirpaza Airport, located within the city, is an international airport serving the Kukurova region. It is the sixth busiest airport in Turkey for passenger traffic, with 5.4 million passengers in 2015. There are international flights to major cities of Germany, to Beirut, Jeddah, Erbil, and Nicosia, frequent domestic flights to Istanbul, Ankara, Zemir, Antalya, Trabzon, Badrum and Van. Turkish State Railways runs five long-distance lines that connect Adana to Ankara, Kayseri, Karaman, Konya, and Elts. All these lines are served at the central railway station, some are also served at the other railway stations of the city Saitlik and Sakirpaza stations at the west, Kairimithane, and Serlik and Yakapner stations at the east. TCDD also runs three regional lines in Kukurova. Adana Mersin line runs as a commuter train with 27 train times daily. Train service from Adana to Osmani Yi Islahai and to Iskenderun run once daily. Regional trains stop at all city stations. Although they lost their popularity as private airlines introduced inexpensive flights to major cities, coaches are still the major form of transportation to and from Adana. Adana has two intercity coach terminals providing service to almost all the cities and towns in Turkey. Coach companies that serve transportation to cities west of Adana, depart from central coach terminal, whereas the buses that serve cities east of Adana depart from Yuri or coach terminal. A shuttle service is provided between the two terminals. Regional bus services from Adana to other places in Kukurova are plentiful and carried by bus and minibus cooperatives. Seasonal bus services to the high plains of Tekir, Burasik and Kays Loda run in summer, due to high demand of Adana residents escaping the heat of the city. There is an extensive motorway network in the region, connecting Adana to as far as Erdemli in the west, Night in the north, Onlurfa in the east and Iskenderun in the south. Traffic runs smoothly throughout the day, driving can take as little as 40 minutes to Mersin and 2 hours to Gaziantep. Local transport in Adana is provided by Adana Transit Corporation and by Dalmas and Bus Cooperatives. Transit Corporation runs the metro and the municipal buses. Adana Metro is a rail rapid transit system that extends 14 kilometers from the northwest to the city center and then to Yurir. The metro serves 13 stations and can transport 21,600 passengers per hour one way, a complete journey taking 21 minutes. The second line of the metro will run from Akankler to Kukurova University in the Saram district. It will be 9.5 kilometers long and will have seven stations. The project is contracted in January 2010 and the construction is expected to start after the funding is received from the Ministry of Transportation. Adana Metro will eventually extend to 23.5 kilometers and serve 20 stations. Adana Transit Corporation serves the city with 229 buses, eight of them designed specifically for disabled users. Payment is collected by Kent Cart Smart Card System. Six bus cooperatives serve the city with 411 buses. Kent Cart and Cash are accepted at these buses. 18 Dalmas Cooperatives with a total of 1,086 minibuses, provide service even to secondary streets. The only form of payment is by cash.
The city of Adana is mostly flat and the warm weather makes it convenient for all year cycling and walking. The square shape of the city, city center's location right at the center of the square and the river running straight north-south in the middle of the city create further advantage for cycling as a means of transportation. Compact urban form due to dominance of high-rise buildings that are closely built, especially in Sehan and Kakurova districts, make cycling from any end of the city to the city center to take less than 40 minutes. Despite all the advantages, car-oriented urban planning since the 1950s caused cycling to take a minor part in commuting to work or school. There are no bike lanes, but there are two bike paths, one along Fusuli Street, the other along M. Kamalpasa Boulevard the latter not used by cyclists at all. Bicycles for commuting are currently only used by residents of low-income neighborhoods. Bicycle use for transportation is low all over Turkey, but when compared to cities like Zemir, Konya and Eskisahir, Adana is less bicycle-friendly. Car-oriented urban planning became even more extreme since the 1980s, pedestrians seeing part of the sidewalks of the city's popular streets being converted into car parking spots. The rise in car ownership not only caused high traffic, but also led to drivers parking their cars on the sidewalks. The city currently has no car-free squares or streets other than a few narrow ones. There are plans to convert both ends of Tascopru to squares and widen the sidewalks in the old town where it is difficult to walk at the peddler invaded narrow sidewalks. By far the most pedestrian-friendly street of the city is Turgut Ozil Boulevard, Kenan Evren and other major streets in Kukurova district are also very convenient for walking. Adana is twinned with Europe. Asia